There are sound generators, you always need one of those to start with. Then you have uh, a square object with rounded corners. Those are control, uh, or those are filters and sound effects. And then you have the third basic object types, which are the round objects, which are controllers. So they manipulate sound, but they don't make sound. Yeah? And then there's a, another object type, which is uh, global control, so you can change the volume, for example, for the whole table, etc. So, but maybe I should do a quick demo of what it does, so you can understand quickly what it does. So, this is the most simple sound you can get, it's a sine wave oscillator. It's very simple, you can see the sound actually visualized, traveling from the object to the center always. In this case, you can change the frequency by rotating the object, and you can change the amplitude with this size control. So you actually always see what it does uh, visually and you hear it acoustically, of course. There's a kind of oscilloscope here. So you can do, uh, this is a touch table, so you can do gestures like muting the sound. You can also, of course, as I showed before, change the amplitude here. But you also can do things like uh, changing the waveform. we have this continuous wave which is not very exciting so we're going to shape it further using more objects like this filter here so this filter can take sound process it and speak it up again so but it needs to be in the sound to do that so i move it over here so it does it takes the sound wave processes it filters it and puts it again to the center so now you can see that only with two objects that we can do some more work on the timbre of how this sound is But we made a completely new interface for it, so it's more accessible, easy to play, and easy to understand. So this instrument does sound, of course, but visualizes the sound and also has a very strong tactile component by manipulating real objects and not any on-screen uh, menus or buttons or whatever. So this is a simple patch now. Uh, we can show other things, for example, those cubes. They also sound generated because they're squares, but they can hold more than one sound because they have different sides. So we put uh, samples into this sound, so into this object. So the very simple sound, which is an oscillator, very complex sound, which is a digital sample. So in those uh, lo uh, cubes, we put some uh, uh, drum and uh, uh, that's very easy. What you can do before you start a concert or a session, you just load your own samples into these cubes. You have a database. You just copy them to the uh, to the rack table, and then you can select and assign them to those cubes. So you can put your own sound in here, which you prepare offline. And uh, the other objects, it is something in between, which is sound font synthesizers. So you can also load your own sound font database and assign your uh, instrument to one of those objects. This is now preset, which is a string instrument. So again, you can change the, uh, the nose by rotating it, and again the volume here on the side. So this doesn't do anything by itself because it needs to be triggered. So I can add and again a LFO as before, and then play some other picture. But I also can use a, a, a med melody object, which also can hold some pre-defined uh, melodies, which you can prepare offline with the sequencer. between those presets selectively. So, so now this uh, instrument is already playing a, a melody and again you can, you can add filters to change this shape, uh, the shape of the sound. So again this is a simple example here. Uh, so you already see that understanding the basic functions like generators, filters, the controllers, the second uh, thing you have to learn is what all those cubes and blocks are doing, but there are not so many, it's 44 blocks around here. So it's very easy to learn. So understanding the grammar, understanding what those blocks do, and then you learn uh, simple instrument phrases you would re then uh, repeat. So this is the noise, this is a, a filter again, and then I could use another object type which I didn't show before, which is a, a step sequencer which allows me to make rhythmic structure. So this step sequencer is uh, sending pulses whenever the red dot comes to the white dot, it sends a pulse, but I also can program those so I can make my own rhythms. Changing the rotation, I can change the tempo. So, again, 
again, this is something you would learn yourself. So there's nothing written in a manual about this. That's basically playing the instrument already. So you can imagine now with having uh, four to four objects in this configuration, but maybe having 50 objects or something like this, you have endless combinations. So that's how you learn to play this instrument by just combining freely whatever you can imagine. So actually we still find combinations ourselves which we didn't see before and find funny things. There's another object type which is a uh, kind of uh, unique because it's a global uh, feedback delay because it just repeats like an echo. Well, as you can see, we make this kind of fully rhythmic structure. So that's how, how you play the instrument. I can add again the loops here. I again put the uh, string instrument and trigger it with the melody. slightly smaller because uh, this one is very big and robust for museums and so it, it survives the text of, of school children classes. Is, is there any of all these countries? Yes, there is one in Athens in the Polymecanon. It's a science center in Athens and I think there will be, there might be even a second table. Uh, it's rented with all it will be there forever. Uh, yes, it's, uh, we have, uh, I think the longest running table we have now is, is has been running for a year uh, without... Well, I mean, in Athens, it's it's forever there. It's forever, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a permanent installation. How much so does it one, cost? Uh, as I say, it's, uh, we're making it on demand, so it's not nothing you buy in the shop uh, with a price tag. It really depends on the project. At the moment it's not very cheap, but uh, we want to make it at the price of a piano more or less. So, uh, so if you can afford a piano, we will be able to afford it. Uh